The family of sports writer Grant Wall says a ruptured heart vessel caused his death, brought on by an undetected aneurysm. Wall, who grew up in Johnson County, died suddenly while covering the World Cup last weekend. Fox 4 Sean McDowell talks with heart specialists about the dangerous condition and what, if anything, you can do to prevent it. So when it tears or ruptures, um, that's not a subtle thing. Grant Wall likely had no idea he was experiencing an aortic aneurysm. Heart specialists say it's basically an expanding blood vessel that ruptures, and since it's a primary pathway for blood to the rest of the body, when it rips open, it can be catastrophic. It's not as common to have this kind of uh, complication in somebody as young as him. Dr. Trip Zorn is a cardiac surgeon with the University of Kansas Health System. The hospital shared this video clip of Dr. Zorn operating on a patient. Dr. Zorn was not Wall's doctor, but he says it's possible Wall could have been genetically predisposed to this. That's not a subtle thing. It's not like a little ache or a pain that you, you ignore. It, it usually takes even the toughest, they, they go directly to the hospital. Wall died early Saturday morning, collapsing in the press box at the World Cup in Qatar. He was a graduate of Shawnee Mission East High School. He'd complained that he wasn't feeling well in the days beforehand. It's the same condition that claimed the life of actor John Ritter in 2003. The death rate, while high, is typically about 1% per hour. Dr. Eric Isselbacher, a cardiologist with Mass General in Boston, says patients who catch it early have a chance to survive. Anybody who has a family history of an aortic aneurysm or aortic dissection, they really is a 20% chance that they have it as well. So they, they should bring that information to their doctor's attention. Heart specialists also say cigarette smoking and high blood pressure will add to a patient's chances of having an aortic aneurysm. By the way, on Wednesday morning, Celine Grounder, Wall's widow, says she now believes there's nothing nefarious about Wall's passing, as originally speculated by many. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.